Polycystic ovary syndrome. Polycystic ovary syndrome is also known as PCOS. This is a metabolic disorder which causes imbalance of female sex hormone and is associated with many internal and external changes. 3 out of 10 women are suffering from this disorder. But before knowing PCOS, you should know the normal menstrual cycle. The ovaries are part of the female reproductive system along with the fallopian tube, uterus and vagina. Ovaries contain lifetime supply of egg. These eggs are immature and are stored in the tiny fluid-filled structures called follicles. Pituitary gland located at the base of the brain receives gonadotrophin-releasing hormone from the hypothalamus and produces hormones that regulate the function of ovaries. These hormones are FSH and LH. FSH causes maturation of the immature follicles and release of cell. And LH causes androgen productions like testosterone and estrogen. The balance of these hormones are essential for the normal menstrual cycle. When these hormones reach the ovaries, several hundred follicles start to mature. As the egg mature, follicles start to secrete estrogen. When the amount of estrogen reaches a certain level, pituitary gland sends the surge of LH to the ovaries, causing the most mature follicles to rupture and release its egg. This process is known as ovulation. The free egg travels through the fallopian tube where it waits for fertilization. If fertilization do not occur, egg and lining of the uterus shed during the menstrual period and the remaining eggs and follicles in the ovary dissolves. This was the normal menstrual cycle. Now we will discuss what happens in PCOS. PCOS is primarily associated with two defects in the body. One is insulin resistance and other is imbalance of FSH and LH levels. Women with PCOS may have insulin resistance. That means cells of the body do not respond to the insulin to take up glucose for the use of energy. As glucose is not being used for the energy, it results in glucose storage and ultimately weight gain. And excess insulin in the body binds with LH in the ovaries, resulting in increased production of androgens, which leads to anovulation. The other defect in the body related to PCOS is Imbalance of FSH and LH levels. It is important for FSH and LH to be in precise balance to avoid complications. FSH is higher than LH during the start of normal menstrual cycle, but in PCOS this is reverse. The levels of LH increases from FSH, which leads to increased testosterone production and causes excess body and facial hair. And due to decrease FSS levels, no maturation of follicles and release of egg occur. This leads to anovulation. And this is the reason of irregular periods and why difficulty in conceiving occur. This was the pathophysiology of PCOS, which shows why weight gain, face acne, and facial hair occur in this disease. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And be sure to watch the next video related to causes, symptoms and treatment of PCOS.